Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Siddhi Dongri and today I'm going to tell about another great scientist and his name is Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday. He was born in 1791 and died in 1867. Michael Faraday was an English physicist famous for his contribution in the field of physics and chemistry. The SI unit of capacitance is named Farad to honor his contribution in the field of electromagnetism. Biography Michael Faraday was born on September 22, 1791 in Hampshire, England into a poor family. He was the third of four children and had very little basic education. When he was 14 years old, he became an apprentice with a local bookseller. It was here that he started reading books and found an inclination towards science. He started reading books on physics, chemistry and tried to apply the principles and suggestions of the books. Due to his correspondence with eminent scholars in these field, fields, he was appointed as a chemical assistant at the Royal Institution in 1813. This way, he began the journey of his scientific exploration. Did you know, every Christmas as a chemistry professor, Faraday used to give science lectures to a group of children from all age groups at the Royal Institution in London, England. These lectures grew very popular among the audiences and as a tradition they are continued even today. Discoveries and Inventions Faraday is famous for his work on electromagnets. He was the one to state the law of induction. He observed that electricity could be generated by moving a piece of magnet continuously inside a metal wire coil. Based on this, he built the first basic electric motor, transformer and generator. His observations of electromagnetic induction led to the principles of converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. Faraday is famous for laying the basis of the electric generator. Through this generator, one can convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. He is also credited for discovering the laws of electrolysis. These laws and principles find applications in many industrial purposes like separating certain metals from their ores to obtain the pure metals. Similarly, batteries used in gadgets like remote controls, etc. are based on electrolysis. This is how electromagnetic induction works. Well guys, that's enough for today. If you like this video, hit like and also all my videos. Subscribe my channel and check out my videos daily on YouTube and share every single video of mine with friends and followers of yours. Have a nice day. Bye.